speck to look at. It appears humanity is driven by their eyes. What are we looking but for? But who is looking Can we be found? at what? Who do we want to find us? Who do we want to find? According to the article, Specimen Plants, do plants have what similar they are standards? and how to when use did them? We get lost? What did we find when we were getting so lost? If you can't be all women, at least try to be the woman. The goal is to move out from the fruit shapes and into the hourglass. Time will always be more valuable than substance. Remember, nothing tastes as good as skinny fills. And if not skinny, at least try to reconstruct your body by ratio standards. Hey guys, so welcome to season two, Plants, Painting, and Poetry. Wasn't that weird at the end of season one when I was abducted by that hot vampire in high heels? I know, crazy. I think they're going to eat me if I'm not perfect which is kind of about what season two is all about. What is this perfection that we're all looking to achieve with our plants, our painting, and our poetry? What is the difference between a commodified object versus a spiritual awakening? Can the two collide? Can I save myself from the vampires that we think of as producers? I am a producer. Does that mean I am the vampire? Who knows? But I do know that if I don't lose at least 50 pounds, somehow get larger boobs, taller legs, better ideas, better ideas, there are better executed ideas, the vampires might eat me. I don't know. I can't afford plastic surgery, so I have this box, and I'm just going to turn myself into the perfect woman. Here, here I go. So, this is beautiful by standards. So, on this season, we're gonna start out by looking at neoliberalism with Rick Bursky. Rick Bursky is not just an amazing poet who literally finds art to be divine, but he's worked as an ad man for several years, winning many awards and even doing Super Bowl commercials. I think he's a really interesting person who speaks without hesitation about the fact that everything is ultimately for sale for the right price. And I guess if we don't think of the price of things being just money solely, I mean, what my soul couldn't be sold for for a little bit of love, you know what I mean? Your bust and hips should measure the same. Next up, we have Bobby Gordon. Now, Bobby Gordon has an incredible project. He, as a dancer, theater, performer, teacher, has been using the great, powerful, and kind of dangerous Instagram to really challenge what we find as a beautiful body. Where is the line between pornography and art? Can pornography be art? Can art be pornography? And really, does it come down to class, gender, and race? <laughs> Probably. And your waist 10 inches less than either. Finally, we have Matthew Schaefer. Oh my gosh, Matthew Schaefer. What a dreamboat. He is a choreographer, dancer, and artist. What's so interesting about him is he goes, you know, the whole spectrum from, uh, I don't know, I don't think he played the part of Jesus, dancing Jesus on stage, but something along those lines with a lot of naked legs in between. I don't know, he'll explain it during the season. But again, here we are at this moment where when does dance go from being a commercial sort of like expose of the body, maybe even sexual, to something that is more provocative and, and you know, sort of brings up all the questions of what it is to be alive in the world. What is dance even? Why aren't we all dancing? So I can't afford plastic surgery, and the vampires say that I have to be perfect. So here are the four different types of women body parts. Three of them are fruits. One is mortality. Okay, so the first one is a banana. No one wants to sleep with a banana. Well, never mind. Second one is an apple. Too broad in the shoulders. Vampires will eat apples. Finally, we have, finally we have the pear. I'm already a pear. <laughs> but the body that every woman wants is an hourglass. That's right. 
like the sands of our time, you know, your mom used to watch it. Well, at least some of you that are older, your mom used to watch this, you know, daytime television show where it was called the, the like something, I don't know, but there was an hourglass and everyone on it had an hourglass shape and that's the only shape that any guy ever wants to sleep with or women or anyone. I don't know. I don't know why you have to look like the end of time to, you know, be attractive, but I think I look better, don't you? Ultimately, if I don't become perfect and my plants don't become perfect and I don't come up with a perfect idea, then the vampires are going to kill me. It is easy to remember what specimen plants are if you learn the Latin root that the word is based upon. The Latin root spec means to look at. Consequently, a specimen plant is one you would single out in your landscape as being particularly worth looking at and thereby deserving of center stage in your yard. So one more thing, something, um, something you might be questioning, like what does this have to do with plants? Well, ladies and gentlemen, one of the things that got me so interested in plants is the price of them. Like, do you know that I could buy a plant that costs more than my house or my car or my house and car combined, like a little plant, like a little house plant that I can't even eat? Do you know I could do that? I could do, I can't do that because I don't have the money, but do you know that people do do that? But what I have been doing is like exploring the world of unboxings. And let me tell you, it's kind of sexy. I don't know. You go on there, you peruse what you want, what you don't want. You all of a sudden start getting these I don't know, feelings, these feelings, these sort of wet plant feelings. And next thing you know, you're unboxing and unboxing and unboxing your child's college fund and uh, next week's month and who really needs to eat? I mean, you've, we've all heard the phrase like, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Well, at this point, I'm not sure anything feels as good as plants out of boxes feel? <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna find out what commodification is doing to the world in plants, painting, and poetry. Bye, guys. Join us as it's we search hot. for what everybody Hi. is searching for. Really I mean, hot. really, what do you all want so badly? What are we looking for? Who do oh, we want to plastic. find? Who do we want so to find us? Plastic. Can we be plastic. found? Hot. When did we get lost? What did we find Anthony? when we were getting so lost?